Hi there, this is Jen, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am sharing my first project using the Hedgehog Hollow November subscription box, and I'm going to show you really quickly what comes in the box. Um, this heady Hedgehog um, pen from Maker Forte, and then you've got this wood piece, which is by SW Craft Connections, and it is a heat bendable piece of wood, so I will be sharing that um, during one of my projects this month. Um, there are some slimline card panels and then 12 sheets of double-sided paper, um, lots of snowmen and kind of like the blue and white theme. Um, this paper is, is foil um, friendly, so you can foil it. So I'm excited to try that out. And then there are two six by eight stamp sets. The first one is called Nativity. And then the second one is called Happy Hanukkah. And then you also get a slimline stencil and it has the words believe um, and then some ornaments and some stars and a little reindeer. Um, so today I'm going to be creating a card using the nativity and the baby Jesus and I was trying to find some inform uh, information, um, inspiration for creating a card and I saw a bunch of really beautiful silhouette cards um, with mangers and so I wanted to kind of create my own um, even though these are not silhouette images um, I thought I would go ahead and see if I could make them silhouette in images um, so what I've done is I have stamped out my image in VersaFine Black so I have stamped out the nativity as well as the baby Jesus and I um, made a mistake on this I have never done this before um, and I should have actually used a lighter ink um, I use VersaFine black and when I look at it I don't know if you can see it but when I look at it you can see some of those lines through the um, sharpie marker so I thought the sharpie marker would be dark enough um, so I am using a sharpie marker and a fine point and I am just coloring up all of the image to ensure that it is kind of like a blackout or a silhouette look and um, like I said you can see some of the uh, lines from the stamp through it and so if I were going to do this again I would use either a, like a light gray or do a second generation stamp where the image is not so dark and you don't really need it to be stamped dark because all you're doing is using it as like a reference or an outline. Um, and I also thought about doing this using my scan and cut. So scanning the image on a white piece of paper and then um, taking that paper off and putting a black piece of paper and then having it cut that. Um, I haven't tried that. Maybe I'll try that in the future, but I thought, I thought um, that would be another idea for trying to create a silhouette image out of a, a stamp that was not um, a full silhouette stamp. Um, so after I colored the image with my Sharpie, I'm going to take that star that's in the stamp set and I'm heat embossing this in holographic powder. Um, I start heating it from the back and then move towards the front. Um, and when I blend over it, you can see it. Um, for this small of a stamp though, it's really hard to see the holographic effect on it. And then once that is done, I take a blending brush and I'm going to take my tumbled glass distress oxide and go over the entire panel and several times during the ink blending I do take a cloth and just kind of go over that um, image that I've colored in with a sharpie to make sure that the distress oxide ink doesn't stick on that black image. I don't want it to show on the black necessarily. I just want it to show in the background. Um, so next I'm going to take a stencil from my stash and I am going to move on to the color salty ocean which is a little bit of a darker blue and since I started the stencil not totally at the bottom and the stencil doesn't cover the entire panel um, I did go over it first doing the rays and then I had to move it up so that I could extend those lines so that it went to the very top of the card and then the last color that I'm using is the chip sapphire and I'm just taking that and going around the very edge of the card panel and once I've gone around the edge of the card panel, I'll go back in again with the tumbled glass just to smooth that color out and give it a little bit of a better blend and not um, such a harsh transition between that darker chip sapphire and the um, lighter colors that are on the card panel. 
And then I'm going to take another stencil. I believe this is a honeybee stencil. If I can find it, I will um, put a description or a link in the description below. And I'm setting the stencil over my panel and I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm basically doing the same thing you would be doing if you splattered it with water. So I'm taking the baby wipe and just rubbing against mainly the bigger um, flashes of stars that are on the stencil because um, that will lift up that oxide ink and leave these really pretty kind of like sparkles on the card. I also take some diamond stickles and uh, kind of spread that through the stencil and then I take the diamond stickles and use those on the star, as well as putting some dots um, all over the panel. And I think next time I do something like this, I'm gonna try it with a scan and cut uh, to see how that works out. Uh, but that will finish this card off for today. I went ahead and adhered it to an afford a four and a quarter by five and a half white card base, um, and that completes the card. There's also a blog post over on the Hedgehog Hollow um, blog, and so if you want to check out the written instructions, um, you can head on over there. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. Uh, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time.